Well, howdy friends, Brian Fleshing and Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and welcome back to another one of our Q&A series. You know, again, friends, I think I say this every episode, but thanks so much for all the questions uh, that we're getting via email. Make sure that you send them to email at admin at madriveroutfitters.com. They tell me that uh, we've been getting some questions via social media, and I'll be really honest with you, I don't go on social media, so I'm not gonna see them. Um, uh, the way I get them is via email, and I throw them, I'm old fashioned, I know, I throw them into a folder, and then we dig through them uh, before we do these. And so send them to admin at matteroutfitters.com. Thanks again. We've got hundreds and hundreds of questions, and uh, trust me, we're trying to get through them as quick as we can, so thanks for your patience. Um, so let's, let's jump right in. And uh, let's see here. Oh, God. Hold on. Go grab me the Costa cleaning kit. I have issues. Excuse me. We pause so that I can see to read the questions. I've been wanting to buy one of these anyway. I'm headed to the Bahamas. And uh, keeping your glasses clean is always a, a big deal. So the Costa cleaning kit, cleaning solution, Costa cleaning cloth, in a handy neoprene carry case. Like butter. <clears throat> Never again will you see me with dirty glasses, I promise. Okay, here we go. Ken Putman from East Lake, Ohio. Ken says, and this is a long one, but I'm gonna read through it because it's, it's pretty awesome and it's also very important. Ken says, hi, this email is for Bryant. I've been watching your series on fly fishing. I've just started watching episode nine. Episode nine is the ever important one on leaders. Guy, I just wanna tell you that I've learned so much from your videos. Thank you again for putting them out. You're very welcome, Ken. You have a way of making it all easy to understand. I do want to share something with you. The story that you shared about Mr. H, you might remember back from episode nine, great customer of ours for years. He had leaders all wrong, just as, as many folks do. And uh, I always tell that little story about Mr. H, so refer back, I think it's over here, refer back to uh, episode nine for the story about Mr. H. He said, just replace the H with a P and that is me. I've gotten so discouraged in my casting I cannot get it out further than about 20 to 25 feet and it's a mess all the time. Your video clarified something for me that I was unaware of. I always use a nine foot leader, which is my rod length. However, I will tie on a two or three foot tippet to save the leader. Okay, that's about halfway down the page there, but let's go ahead and stop. And Ken, I think you now know that that is wrong. Okay, a leader, the word leader, if you remember back from episode nine, the word leader equals a tapered butt section plus a tippet. So if a package says leader, it is ready to go. You do not need to do anything. Okay, so Ken, by adding two to three foot of tippet, you're double tippeting. You can't double tippet. You just cannot double tip it. Um, I mean, you can if you want, but it's just not going to work. And if you go back, uh, you said it's a mess all the time. And yes, it's because you're double tipping. You're not saving your leader. You're ruining your leader. Okay. So the only time you need to add tippet is after you have cut tippet back. And now this nine foot leader is say eight foot or seven foot long you're gonna pull off a piece of tippet and you're gonna to add to the front end, okay? I'll, I see a ton of people do that, friends. They buy a leader off the wall, which is again, set and ready to go, and then they add tippet to it. Again, double tippeting, don't do that. Uh, I also use, always use the same size tippet no matter what type of leader or fly I am using. Again, Ken, I think you know that from watching episode nine and now hopefully from watching this that's that doesn't work okay i never knew that it was that important 
I am guessing that this is my problem. Yes, it is. I do have a question. Is it critical that the tippet diameter be the exact size as the leader? In other words, if I'm using a 4X leader, do I have to use a 4X tippet only? If so, I would imagine then I need to get a few different sizes of leaders too. Um, I'm a huge bass fisherman in the lakes. However, I took up fly fishing this year and I really enjoyed getting into the rivers for steelhead. I just can't cast worth a hoot. Anyway, I look forward to your response. Now I'm going to continue with the videos. Thanks again. Uh, again, Ken, let's go back and you know what? Let's pull out the old trusty marker board and let's have a look at this real quick. So you got a 4X leader, right? And let's kind of map this out. There's your taper and obviously a little bit exaggerated here so that you fully understand. And then here is your tippet. And again, we're gonna call that a leader, okay? That is butt plus tippet. And your tippet is 4X and that's somewhere in the ballpark of say two foot. So <clears throat> make sure that you understand the taper is gonna be like Back here, your 3x, 2x, 1x, 0x, et cetera, et cetera. So it's tapering down, right? So your question is, do you always have to add the same tippet to the same leader? And theoretically, yes, but there's ways that you can fudge this, okay? Let's say that you're fishing a, a nymph on 4x, or you're fishing a size 12 dry fly on 4x. And all of a sudden, a uh, hat starts coming off. Say so of little blue wing olives or trichos or midges, something tiny, and you theoretically need to go to 6X, okay? One method is to, of course, take the entire leader off and tie on a 6X leader or loop on however you attach them, a 6X leader. Or you can do this, make sure you understand, okay? You are going to make one snip, say right there, leaving, call it a transition piece, leaving whatever, four to six inches maybe of the 4X, and now you're gonna add some 6X tippet, okay? You're gonna tie a simple surgeon's knot, and you're gonna add roughly two feet of say 6X tippet. So now you just turned a 4X leader into a 6X leader. Hope that makes sense and hope you understand why I left that little 4X transition piece in there. <clears throat> you really don't want to, this is kind of a general rule, you really don't want to skip more than about one X number when you're attaching here, okay? Four to six, it'll be okay. It'll still cast fine, it'll still float fine. If you went three to six, that's gonna be quite a, a hinge. You're asking, uh, a fat, you're attaching a fat piece to a skinny piece and you're gonna get a hinge right there. So we leave this little piece of 4X. A good way to think of this is that piece of 4X, it used to be tippet and now it's part of the taper. Hopefully you can see that, okay? And if you add two foot here, okay, now your leader's nine and a half foot. So it's still in that realm of approximately in my world you're still okay, not a problem with dry flies. Now let's say that all of a sudden um, uh, the dry fly bite goes off and you wanna switch to a streamer. You might just pull this leader off, loop it up, put it in your leader wallet and tie on a, 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 two, a two X leader. But theoretically, here's what you could do. You could cut this leader back into where it's approximately 2x in diameter and you can pull out your 2x tippet and compare okay and then at this point you could tie on a piece of 2x tippet maybe you go a little bit shorter on it maybe it's a foot and a half and now you have an eight foot eight and a half foot 2x leader that you built off of the same butt section okay and then again if we if we went back and we wanted to make this a 4x leader again yeah, you could probably do that just by leaving a little piece of that 2X as a transition. And now we can add a piece of 4X 
tip it and you've built that. So <clears throat> the problem you might run into is if you cut this back to a, say a 2X, and then you tie on a piece of 2X tippet, if you now need to go back to 6X for whatever reason, that's gonna get a little labor intensive. You'd have to add in a piece of 4X um, and then out to the 6X. That's a little too much not tying in finagling. At that point, I would probably just put on a fresh leader, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, he, another thing that I get a lot is a lot of people ask if, um, for example, and, and I think, Ken, this will tie right into your question and also answer a lot of other people's questions, okay? <clears throat> Let's go back. Here's a nine foot 4X leader. I get this question a lot. People ask if they now do the math, divide by three or four, um, uh, refer back to episode nine. If you do the math and now you need a 2x tippet, a lot of people ask me this question, can I just add 2x tippet, okay? And no, you cannot. Because you're attaching skinny to fat, okay? And you can't ask a skinny kid to push a fat kid up a hill. Just, he can't do it, okay? But you can ask a fat kid to push a skinny kid up a hill. Hopefully that makes sense. So again, <clears throat> you cannot just add 2X tippet to a piece of 4X tippet, okay? That's, you're gonna be very little energy going through that 4X and then now all of a sudden you've got this fat pipe of the 2X and the energy here can't fill that fat pipe. So again, you would have to cut that leader back and cut that 4X and now you can add your 2X tippet as long as this is fatter in diameter or similar in diameter to what you're attaching there, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and I know that'll answer questions for a lot of folks. All right, Ken, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, you give me a call. I swear uh, my book called The End of the Line, which is all about leaders, uh, will be out here uh, sometime this winter and uh, hopefully you'll pick up a copy of that. And let me know, if you have any questions, pick up the phone and call me um, here at the shop. But I think that's gonna help you out a lot. Um, just to summarize, you don't need to add tippet to this package leader. It says leader, it has tippet. Only when you cut back are you gonna add a piece of tippet. And then, um, yes, you do need to continue with the taper of the leader Although there are, in other words, you're gonna add 3X tippet to a 3X leader, uh, but there's a couple of easy ways that you can fudge that and use this leader to do several different things. But in the long run, yes, you are gonna have to own, for example, 2X, 4X, 6X leaders, or 1X, 3X, and 5X leaders for different applications. No way around that, but your casting, your fishing, your presentations, it's all gonna be better for that for minimal investment. Okay, so Ken, we'll get you out a hat and a fly box, although uh, you did not give an address. I only have East Lake, Ohio. So Ken, if you're out there and you want a free hat and a fly box, send us your address via email and we'll get that out to you. Okay, I appreciate it as always. Next up, we have Ed um, from, I don't know where, it's just Ed, no address. Um, so uh, it looks like Ed Robertson um, and nowhere on here is an address or anything. So Ed, I don't know where you're from, but thanks for the question. Um, I've really enjoyed the videos from your outfit. Um, Brian and his presentation on fly fishing is what got me into the sport. Without his encouragement and advice, I would be lost. Ed. Even though I don't know where you're from, that's awesome, man. Thank you very much. Um, it's, you know, to be honest with you, it's a real honor to do this. And uh, it's really, really heartwarming to uh, hear so many people saying that we've helped them and encouraged them. Um, that's, I, I mean that. However, I, have, I do have an interest that I cannot find any, in capital letters, information about. Uh, you know, there was a, a fellow that worked for us for a couple of years, he was a writer, um, David S. Lewis, and, and a really fun employee, and uh, David said anytime uh, people write in all caps in the writing world, they call them slammers, 
So now when I see big capital letters, they're called slammers. So however, I do have an interest that I cannot find any slammers information about. And that is large articulated streamers and tippet size matchups. Finally, I called the store and spoke with Andy who steered me right. Um, cool, thanks for calling. And uh, Andy usually does steer people right. However, I would like to see information on this topic. I don't fish for pike or muskie, but I do fish for smallmouths, large rainbows, large browns, and cutthroats using her five or six weight setup. <clears throat> Great question, Ed. And yes, um, I've had a lot of inquiries about this. If you go back to, again, episode nine, and we talk about dividing the fly size by three or four. Um, and that's going to give you a rough ballpark on what tippet to use. Well, if you're using um, some of the articulated Kelly, we call them Kelly Gallup style, of course, streamers. Um, lo and behold, these have two hooks, okay? So you may have a number two or a number four up front, and then behind you've got uh, a number four or six, say, behind that. So how in the world do you do that math? Um, well, I basically don't do any math. I'll keep it real simple. You need to go off the X chart, okay? Um, almost all of the Kelly Gallup style articulated streamers, I'm gonna be using, uh, first of all, you need to switch from a freshwater tippet like Scientific Anglers or Orvis Super Strong. Um, go away from that and go to something stiffer. Of course, Maxima, Maxima Ultra Green, or Maxima Clear. I tend to like the Ultra Green uh, for fish and freshwater streamers. Although the Rio Bass Tippet is uh, also stiff enough, and then Scientific Anglers makes their Hard Mono AR. That is stiff enough, okay? <clears throat> and by off the X chart, zero X is 11 thousandths, okay? So I'm gonna go to probably 12 thousandths or even 13 thousandths for my tippet on throwing these large articulated streamers. On something like um, the Swimmy Jimmy, or a Zoo Cougar, which is essentially unweighted, or the Barely Legals, which basically just have a cone head on the front, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna be throwing the uh, 12 thousandths on my tippet. Again, I usually use Maxima, I'm a big Maxima guy. I was taught that many years ago by Kelly Gallup and, and all the guides up in Michigan where I first started hosting trips uh, 30 years ago now. So Maxim Ultra Green is what I use. <clears throat> the Rio Bass Scientific Anglers, <clears throat> also good. Excuse me. Um, if you go to something heavier than um, the Swimmy Jimmy or the, uh, here's the, uh, my favorite new little streamer, the Bangtail. Um, you can get away with 12 thousandths on those. You could probably get away with zero X, but I just go up to 12. Um, if you go to something heavier with some lead eyes on it, like the uh, articulated monkey, uh, excuse me, the butt monkey, in certain places you have to be politically correct now about Kelly Gallup's flies. Uh, Mad River Outfitters is not one of those places. That's the sex dungeon, of course. Um, here is the boogeyman, and these flies are going to be really, really heavy. Um, in particular, the boogeyman um, and the butt monkey, they're gonna, they've got wool heads. They're going to soak up in rabbit strips. They're going to soak up a bunch of water, and they're going to be heavier in hell. Uh, so you want to be on 13 thousandths, okay? Um, in some situations, you might even go heavier. I think I've, I've heard Kelly say that he fishes stuff on 15 thousandths before, okay? So look for, first of all, stiff material, and you need to be bigger than 0x, 12,000s, 13,000s, even 15,000s in some cases. Now, let's talk about this. I hear people talk about pound test a lot, okay? And you really can't do that in this case. It's not the pound test that carries that energy and it's gonna carry that heavy fly out there. It's the stiffness and the diameter. So, <clears throat> for example, if you look at the pound test on these materials, um, if you just said use 10 pound test, well, 10 pound test in the Scientific Anglers brand is only gonna be about 
uh, nine thousandths or maybe even eight thousandths. <clears throat> Whereas if you go to the Rio, 10, uh, 10 pound here is right. So saying pound test doesn't cut it, okay? You've gotta know the stiffness that you're using and the diameter. And again, it needs to be 12 thousandths, 13 thousandths, maybe even as big as 15 thousandths in some cases, okay? So uh, great question, Ed. One that we've gotten a lot, there's really, you, you can forget about doing the math. Again, it just needs to be 12, 13, 15 on your tippet. That's what's gonna chunk these things around, whether you're fishing off of a floating line or a sinking tip line. And again, stay tuned, we'll have a lot more coming here on the YouTube channel, and then I will have a full chapter on that in the book uh, called The End of the Line, which should be out soon. And stay tuned, we'll let you know, of course, here. So that's it for today, Ed please send your address so we can send you out the hat and the fly box. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please go to madriveroutfitters.com and think about placing an order so we can afford to con continue to afford to make these videos. We really appreciate you tuning in, friends. Have a great one. We'll see you soon. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.